quiet of evening I start to drift away Imagining a place Where you'll be starting off your day I fight the distance With a picture in my head But I don't know when I see you I guess I'll have to dream instead So far away If I could be happy with you Even if for just one day Cause if I close my eyes And dream on I can move Hey guys, it's Dana again, and once again, I haven't done a video for quite a while. Not doing these as often as I used to, but just hadn't had a lot to talk about. But uh, recently, I went on several trips at one time and uh, picked up several different things. So I'm going to talk about those, and also I got a special gift in the mail which I'm going to show you here a little bit later um, but the first thing you're looking at is an original Howard the Duck one sheet and some of you are probably thinking oh my gosh why on earth would you get a Howard the Duck poster but I don't know I always have liked Howard the Duck it's just a fun little movie sometimes I like to get out my DVD and watch it um, 
But the main reason why I got this poster was because Leah Thompson was at Scarefest this year in Lexington, Kentucky. And as you can see here, right on Howard's foot there, I have Leah Thompson's autograph. Um, she put my name with an explanation point and then signed her name. Very nice lady. Uh, as I've mentioned before uh, in the Seductive Poison podcast that I do. Um, and also, I think also on Steve's show when we talked about our trip and stuff. I think I mentioned it there as well. Very nice lady. So if you get a chance to meet her, definitely should should go up to her and at least talk to her. Um, but <clears throat> this is an original poster. You can see the little NSS number there at the bottom. And it's in, you know it's in decent shape. And I didn't give all that much for. I can't remember exactly what I give for it. Uh, but it really wasn't that much at all. Um, and I got it signed, so it's worth a lot more to me now. Um, the next thing I wanted to show was, um, Steve got me this. This is a Zoe Bell print with the little death proof symbol there. As I've said before, death proof is one of Steve and my favorite movies, so... You can see this. This print was done by Nathan Milner. Very, very nice print. I love it. You can never get enough of Zoe Bell stuff from Death Proof. So I really, really love that. And I thank Steve so much for getting that for me. Um, something else I got uh, when we went to Cinema Wasteland in Ohio was, and this is signed too as well, is I finally got my button gear and got the basket case Blu-ray and it is signed by Frank Kennenlauter as you can see right there and he also put here on the side to Dana from your friends at Hotel Broslin and I will say that I have watched the the Blu-ray and it looks very, very good. This is the best I've ever seen Basket Case look. And uh, this was the only autograph I got at Cinema Wasteland. Um, also, the Leah Thompson autograph was the only one I got at Scarefest. I didn't want to go just hog wild on the on the autographs this time. Okay, so that's that's the Blu-ray. Um, another Blu-ray I got in that that Steve got me um he wanted to get me a blu-ray and this one had just come out at, at the time that he asked me what blu-ray i wanted and he said well would you like zombie holocaust and i was like yeah and i couldn't remember seeing it but i think i may have seen it a long time ago under the title dr butcher md which is the alternate title for it but it really looks good on the blu-ray uh, some people didn't like the film, but I thought it was a lot of fun. I watched it recently um, and enjoyed it. So I would recommend this one. I definitely pick it up if you get a chance. Um, it does, you know, have some fun extras on it that I watched. It has a still and poster gallery. It has trailers. It has an interview with uh, the FX guy, Maruzio Training. And it also has scenes uh, from Tales That Will Tear Your Heart Out from the U.S. theatrical version, Dr. Butcher, M.D. Um, and also, I think there's some advertising material and things like that that they talk about as well. So, nifty little package. I really enjoyed it, and I thank Steve for getting this one for me as well. Okay, now, I didn't get a whole lot of things in Texas, but one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I got was something from the Mondo Tea Shop which is next door to the Alamo Draft House on South Lamar. It's not the one on 6th Street that was close to Steve, the hotel Steve and I stayed at, but this was the other Alamo Draft House. But we went to the Mondo Tees one day, and we definitely wanted to get make sure we got a shirt there. And I'd always like the look of their Evil Dead shirt. Now, unfortunately, this shirt does not say anything about the Alamo Draft House. The shirt that Steve got, which is, I believe, called the Interceptor shirt, 
does say the Alamo Draft House on it. Uh, but this is just a cool design, kind of simple design, but still really, really cool. And, you know, I've kind of, I still like to get the black shirts a lot, but I've kind of gotten burnt out on the black shirts a little bit and like to get some color into my horror shirts. So it was a choice between this one and the navy blue one, and I decided to go with the red. And I think the contrast is really, really good. Uh, really nice shirts. And they are a little expensive, 25 bucks a piece for the shirts. But it was worth it. When's the next time I know that I'm going to Texas and be able to go to Mondo Tees? So, you know, I was actually in the shop, got to buy me something. Um, you can order things online, but sometimes if you're going to be in the area, it's just good to just to stop by their shop and see what they have. So I did get that shirt. And the last thing that I wanted to show to everybody is a gift, a special gift that Steve just sent me. It was just out of the blue. He decided to send me a gift, which was very, very sweet of him. Um, and it was something that he told me that we saw at Simple Wasteland. And I couldn't, you know, we saw so many things that I couldn't really think of what he would have gotten me. So it was a big surprise this uh, afternoon when I got a box and I opened it up and this is what was inside. Um, is It's called The Basement which is a that's the main film that's on here. Um, it's a Lost Super 8 feature film. This was done by Camp Motion Pictures as you can see. This is part of the Retro 80's Horror Collection. Now there are five films on a DVD plus there's a VHS tape in this as well. And I almost hate to to open this. You can see it's still, it's sealed. And um, the movies that are on here of course is there's the one called The Basement which has several different tales in it. Um, I'm sorry for the glare there. I'm trying to get a good view of this. There's also movies uh, called The Captives. There's Video Violence 1 and 2. And also Cannibal Campout. Which, Cannibal Campout I have and I've already watched. But this set is too good to pass up. I mean, you got all this stuff in here. Plus a collectible VHS. It's almost like the... Sorry, I had to uh, talk to my mom real quick there. But anyway... Um, like I was saying, Cannibal Campout I have on, on DVD, but all these other films I have not seen. And of course they said The Basement is a lost Super 8 film, so it's going to be really awesome to watch. But like I said, I almost hate to, I mean look at this thing. This is, to me this is highly collectible. I mean it even looks like it's some of that old VHS packaging that we, you would find in your mom and pop video stores. I mean, I love this. And people that know me know how I like to uh, collect stuff. And, uh, like I said, I really, really want to watch these movies. Otherwise, I probably would not open this because it's just awesome. And, you know, I told Steve he really shouldn't have done that, but I love it, and I appreciate him getting it for me. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, for somebody that's a collector, such as I am, and is really into movies like this, this is one of the best gifts I could ever get. So, thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate this so much. And I probably will have to split the cellophane and actually watch some of this stuff tonight because I can't help myself. But um, again, this was just a few things that I, that I had gotten that I wanted to show um, like in the last few weeks. Um, I just, I'm sorry for the delay on doing a video on things that we had gotten or I had picked up on my trips. I had meant to do one earlier. I've been kind of lazy about it. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and this one wasn't too long or boring or anything. And I hope to be able to come up with something to do a video on soon. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. 
Okay, guys, I'm back again for the last time tonight, but um, I couldn't stand it any longer. I opened the cell thing on my gift that Steve got me. I really, really hated to open them. Of course, I'm going to want to watch these. Um, as you can see, there's the box that I showed earlier that everything is in. Right here is the DVD that has, um, has several different films on it. Um, as you can see, it has the basement film. Sorry for that glare, guys. Captives, Video Violence, Video Violence 2, and Cannibal Campout. And you can see it pretty much has the same pictures that the outside box has. So I'm definitely going to watch that a little later, or begin watching it. Now the other thing, um, I I had thought that the um, VHS would be kind of, would be sealed like House of the Devil, but that's okay. It's it's not sealed, but it's in this little, you know, kind of like a one of those cases that the the VHS big box would have like a tray or something that it's put in. So I have not taken it out of that tray and I do not intend to. Um, this is also a VHS version of the basement but I thought you know why fool with that and mess up the collectability aspect of it by taking it out because I can always watch it on the DVD uh, which I already showed you guys. Um, but I did want to show you what was on the inside and uh, Steve did ask me if there was indeed a VHS um, in the package and I said yes it was. Um, you know like I said it's not sealed but that is awesome the way they put it in there like the old fashioned trays that they have for the like I said the old uh, big box VHS's. So there you go guys and I promise this will be the last part of the video for tonight. Thanks again for watching.